All right, Mustangs, thanks for tuning in to our uh, video from yesterday, which was five ways to be successful in 2022. That was provided to you by our freshman level, uh, grade level group of teachers. And today we have uh, our sophomore grade level group of teachers, which consists of Ms. Stubbert, Mr. Reganini, Mr. Chacon, Ms. Keen, Mr. Chavez, Mr. Garza, and Ms. Ryder. And their topic for you all to zero in on today is GoPro. How do you go pro this semester? And so they're giving you some tips and tools and tricks on how to go pro. You hear that all the time. It's right there in the middle of the go big, go pro, go now. And a lot of times people just kind of wonder, okay, what's that pro all about? Well, first thing I'll tell you is you have pro tools at your fingertips with those MacBooks. And our anticipation is that you use that to harness professionalism, your young professionals. So how do you go pro? Well, the first thing is proofread your work, okay? Make sure that you're using spell check, using those kind of tools before you submit anything. It's embarrassing, punctuation, spelling's bad. You don't want that to happen. So use the tools available to you. Actually read your work and answers before you submit. Read it out loud, hear how it sounds. Um, and have somebody like a parent, a teacher, a friend, a uh, fellow student next to you, have them check out your work because it's always better to have another set of eyes on those. So don't forget to proofread your work. Read instructions very thoroughly to go pro. So if you want to be really great, you got to go above and beyond, right? So you don't know how to go above and beyond if you don't know what the line is to go beyond. So it's really important that you read those instructions for the entire assignment. Okay, a lot of times what we do is we want to get it done, so we read it. And we start working on the first part and we forget the details of maybe the second, third, final part. So read those really closely. Use any of the rubrics that your teachers provide a lot of times when they're describing uh, the assignment, they're gonna go through that rubric of how you're gonna be scored. Use that rubric to guide your work. And just make sure you understand when the due date is. So you have plenty of time, you could schedule that time in. Make sure that uh, you're not gonna be doing it at the at the very last minute because our best work is never done at the last minute going back to the last one that doesn't leave us any time to proofread right the third thing is prepare okay prepare always be prepared never go in blind um, make sure for every every class you read through the course of study the syllabus the the uh, expectations for the classroom so you know what you're going into that goes even if you've been in that class for a whole semester, the second semester, make sure you understand uh, what's expected. And for students that are taking dual enrollment classes, a lot of you are taking a new class this semester. So make sure that you understand what that entails. It's a college class. There's a lot of differences. Make sure you, you know. When you get to class, you got to be prepared with your computer charge. Open it up, get it out, make sure Wi-Fi is running good, have it all set. That first minute of class is the most important because that sets the tone for the rest that's what we talk about when we're talking bell to bell use every minute to be productive and do well and when you're doing presentations don't just create the presentation in keynote create it then practice it know what's on those slides a good presentation is not one that we're reading line by line by line right we need to understand what's on that we need to know what the content is that way we can focus on delivering that in a professional manner. You can't do that if you're reading off the slides. Not to mention, super boring. If you've ever had a class where all they do is read off the slides, that can't be happening at Minarets, I know. But anywhere else, it's incredibly boring. Don't procrastinate. Like I said, our best work is not done last minute. Plan ahead, schedule it in. You got sports practice, you got the FFA meeting, you got a, a family weekend dinner plan, make sure that you live by that calendar. You guys have Google calendars, you have the calendar uh, within Canvas, plan ahead. Starting class, if you have some time to get ahead, take the time, but use every minute to work bell to bell to make sure that you're not waiting to the last minute. Like we said yesterday, there shouldn't be a ton of homework when you're getting home. That's how our school is based. It's 
If you're productive and you're working hard in class, you shouldn't have to procrastinate. Don't just do it later, because that has a snowball effect. It gets worse and worse and bigger and bigger. Do it in increments. Pace yourself out. Make sure that you're putting your best foot forward each time. Because if you delay it too long and you try to do it all at once, it's going to be really watered down. And don't wait till it's, uh, you know, like we're, we're coming up on Sadie Hawkins or prom and I'm going to make sure my grades are up or eligibility. Stay ahead of the curve. That's a lot smarter, a lot easier. Remember what they say, work smarter, not harder. And put the responsibility on yourself. It's, it's, it's on you to do well. It's on you to be successful. And that's what we're trying to make, uh, to teach you guys to do is personal responsibility to be proactive and not reactive, to use the resources that you have around you, to use the canvas, um, the, the canvas system to make sure you're on top of things, know when things are coming up. And if you ever need help, like we said yesterday, ask, ask for help. Use Canvas, use Canvas, use Canvas. If a teacher gives verbal instructions, make sure you refer back to what's written in Canvas. If you forget, go back. Like we said at the very beginning of this video, make sure you know the rubrics and the instructions. And if you keep revisiting those, you can make sure that you're doing a thorough job to complete them. There, there are uh, announcements regularly on the homepage. Make sure you're checking that out. And submit your work. Make sure that it's submitted Hit that submit button, get it done, get it finished. All right, everybody, those are just some tools to go pro. Always be prepared. Don't procrastinate. Look ahead. Keep ahead. Make sure that you're staying organized. That's the go big, go pro, go now, go Mustangs part of things. Thank you, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.